Hi, my name is Kenny Granger, and welcome to Cash and Carry Pull Your Part in Savannah, Georgia. You know, it's a family run business. We've been in business since 1966 in Savannah, Georgia. We have a deep history here. Savannah is a great place. Well, Savannah is a great town. I mean, you know, there is. There's a lot to do here, a lot to see. Um, it's historic. It's just a beautiful, historic city. It has a lot of uh, a lot of history, and you can tell when you're when you're downtown um, in any of those areas. You can tell that you know there's a lot that that's happened here. We presently have 18 employees at Cash and Carry. I will start with my dad, Ken Granger, who, uh, who still owns uh, Cash and Carry. I am actually the president of the company. Then we can go to my sister, Ansley. Uh, she is in accounting. This is Ansley Granger. This is my sister, my youngest sister, and she's, uh, she does all of our, our bookkeeping for us. Kind of keeps everybody level and uh, when we all get crazy. And my other sister, Leticia, she works on the, uh, the front counter. Hey, my name's Leticia Granger. I work on the counter at Cash and Carry. I am Kenny's sister. And she's definitely a little more active and outgoing. I guess if we could have one wild card in the, in the family, uh, that would be her uh, in a good way, though. We, we don't get along all the time, but we do. <laughs> we do mainly get along. She heads up all of our, our sales and uh, tries to get everyone motivated up here. We have Simon who does all of our crushing. Arthur, Arthur Moss. How are you doing? Hello, the camera. How are you doing? Right hand what? man at the counter. Hey, what's Dad doing? is Simon. He runs Fort Lift. He does all the crushing. 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 <laughs> the fun part. <laughs> This is Laron. Laron works up on the front counter. He usually actually only works on the weekends, but I think he's gonna start getting some more days in here. This is Miss B. She um, does a lot for us here. <laughs> she works up here a couple days a week. We also have Johnson Taylor. He runs security for us, and uh, he by far is the biggest character that we have around here. So somebody relieve me of my key over that rain. Well, I appreciate you. And if I done. find out that about him, I'm going to beat him about his head and shoulders. Okay. <laughs> and I've told him, don't use my keys, but don't take it. But anytime I needs a key, that's the master set for everybody. We have children and dogs around all the time. As a matter of fact, I used to have a dog that came to work with me every day. We, we've always had dogs in the office, dogs, kids. Um, I have two children of my own, and, uh, you know, it's... They're always here. We have different sections of our yard. Right here is going to be your trucks, SUVs, and vans. Um, as you can see, that all of our uh, vehicles are set on wheel stands so that people can get to the uh, get to the parts that they need to pull. The reason that we divide the yard up is just uh, to make it easy access for our customers to find the vehicles. Uh, we also inventory all of our cars. And we have a computer system that uh, will tell you what section that the car is in. People come in, uh, they pay a dollar uh, to go in the yard. Uh, before they come in the yard, they'll generally ask us if we have a certain vehicle. And uh, we're able to look that up. And it's uh, not the typical junkyards that you once saw. They're a lot more sophisticated. They're really, a, it's a different experience than what it was. Uh, when we first bought them, uh, meaning there wasn't cars on wheel stands. You had grass growing up in the weeds out of, you know, whether you had snakes running around and uh, it was just a, it was, it was a different, different day. Uh, now most of you pull at yards are gonna look something similar to this. This is the, uh, the core warehouse and Trey is separating all the cores that we took off of the cars that we crushed today. Uh, that right there is all the wiring harness, which has copper in it. All the loose copper, aluminum, starters, alternators, compressors, radiators, condensers, uh, anything that has uh, 
commodity value to it. We try to take off. The yard itself is, uh, we have 12 acres. Our yard will hold uh, up to 1,000 vehicles and we generally keep the yard full. Now we buy between 100 and 120 a, a week and we'll, we'll crush as many as we buy generally. Just about everybody who works here, I would say, is a fix-it person to some degree. Um, that's kind of a requirement for working in salvage yards to know parts. Just like most of our customers, um, a lot of our employees, they, they do work on their own cars and they get a lot of parts from us. You'll find our customers may be the biggest characters we have. We're going to send a tape in and see if we can be on this. Okay, okay. Uh, well, we should. Sure. Yeah, I think we so. Should <laughs> <laughs> I we should be. I think we can make it. it. I know we're going to make it. All right. <laughs> Our customers are like repeat customers. It's a lot of mechanics, it's a lot of people. And then it's just, you know, from people that are just fixing their own car, <laughs> um, you know, fixing their own 98 Accord to mechanics or, or who are putting in, you know, a 350 motor and a Corvette. This is the uh, final destination for the, the crushed cars. Each and every car has its own little story. You find pictures in the cars, you find all of their, their personal items are usually still left in the vehicle. So, I mean, it in itself tells a story about the person, you know. It's just interesting. As awful as it sounds too, I mean, you know, you think about what happened to, was it a family driving the car? Was it, you know what I mean, if it's wrecked or whatever. Um, and especially if it's badly mangled, you know. I mean, it's like, what happened to these people? You know what I mean, who were they? You know, each car to me is like personal. We hope that you decide to uh, join us in Savannah and come to Cash and Carry and film Junkyard Wars. Uh, we would love to have you and uh, we would definitely roll out some Southern hospitality.